Hello, this is a Combi 185. It's a compact service unit which heats water and ventilates your home and provides a little bit of heating. We're going to change the filters today or at the very least look at them to see if they're okay. The filter compartment is above the piano hinge on the front panel and we need to unscrew with an Allen key. There's one. On earlier models, um, the screws at the top were actually um, just slotted screws uh, and they were quarter turn catches. But there was a problem with that because occasionally air would escape. You'll see there's a foam pad here, which is a closed cell material and over time when the front cover had been on and off a few times that became compressed and you got an air leak just here uh, so on the later ones it's a set screw uh, with a allen key head right so we have two filters um, let's start with this one which is the g4 filter there is an indication arrow on this and always the airflow is coming down so the filter arrow must be pointing down with the airflow this one as you can see is quite clean it's a pleated paper filter and all it does is keep the internal parts of the machine clean the air that's passing this side of the machine doesn't go anywhere near you it's leaving the building but we need to keep the heat exchanger clean which is in here and that's what that does you'll notice on the back there's a wire mesh that always should be downwards and okay if you follow the arrow you'll see that that's the way it should go it simply slides in clearly you could vacuum that off if it's dusty if you have serious breathing issues this is the important filter this is an F7, um, it will clean out about 80% of material of particulate down to about 0 0.4 uh, microns. So it's a good quality filter, they're used in hospitals uh, and in lots of places where air quality is important. This filter should be changed at the very least annually and if you have breathing issues you should change it more often. You can vacuum this off but over time it will clog up particularly if you're near a motorway or where there's a lot of diesel particulate in the atmosphere it will stick into this filter and clog it and affect your air flows. So do bear that in mind. Simply clean it or replace it it doesn't matter which way up this goes, it works both ways. But if you're cleaning it, make sure you put it back the same way. They just slide in and then close the front and screw it up tight. I use um, a hand device here. Some people use um, a, a simple electric screwdriver. It's not a good idea. Do it by hand. Uh, it's so easy to over tighten this and, and ruin the seal, the foam seal at the side. Hope you found that helpful. Thank you for watching.